as you can tell it's winter now and it's absolutely freezing today to maximize my fishing over the winter and cold months i like to fish for all species but one of my favorite are pike there's nothing better than a big river pike and i spend short days roving up and down rivers and canals with just a single rod and light tackle in search of these awesome predators if you're fairly new to pike fishing i would suggest maybe going with someone who's a little bit more experienced or doing quite a bit of research and watch some videos on fish care. Sometimes you can't help, but when you're pike fishing, using treble hooks and baits, that the pike might take the bait a little bit deeply. So you need to be prepared to have the right unhooking tools and um, equipment to unhook pike. Have to be confident as well. Sometimes uh, they can be a little bit thrashy and you've got treble hooks around. So not only do you want to be making sure that your, your fish care is up to standard, that you also don't cause an accident on yourself. So confidence is a key when you're fishing for, for pike. And also if, if you're not too confident to do research or fish with someone that is. When it comes to the tackle, I always keep it fairly simple and you, you don't want to get this wrong. With, with other species, you can sort of adapt your your own rigs and stuff when you first start out but with pike you, you definitely want to make sure that your rigs are safe i tie my own but we also do some really good ready type rigs they're nice and strong and i always have a couple of those in my bag as well the ready tied rigs get you fishing straight away nice and effectively and also you know that if you are tying your own you can sort of mirror image them and you know that you're doing everything safe and correct They've got blood red rig sleeves, just neatening everything up over the eyes of the hooks. And the hooks are super strong and come in various sizes, ranging from size eight to size four. With the small size, size eight trebles, the, the space between the two hooks is a lot shorter than it would be with the size fours. This is to accommodate when using smaller baits with smaller hooks, i.e. with a, a, a small sprat or a sardine, you might use the size six or eight trebles and with bigger baits like mackerel and heron you'll be using the size fours because the spacing will be a, a lot longer. Whether you're float fishing or ledger in your dead baits you always want to make sure that you're hooking the fish with his head facing down and that your, your hooks are positioned perfectly o along your bait. You want your hook set with the bottom treble in the flank of the fish and the top treble in the tail of the fish just because when the pike take the bait they, they will generally turn it and devour it head first and you want to make sure that your hooks aren't set right at the front of the fish just to stop deep hooking. I've caught loads of fish on the traces. They're handmade in Drennan's factories. They're super reliable and they're a nice easy place to start for a pike angler. If lure fishing is your thing, we also do spin traces. They're a great easy option when lure fishing, you always want to have a, a, a wire trace when fishing for pike. Just simply tie them onto the end of your braid and hook the clip onto your lure and you're fishing straight away.